Ashipala and one other Namibian were selected as qualifiers for the African University of the World pageant, said to have been organized by Cameroonians in Benin. Prizes were to include more than $60,000 as well as trips around the world. Judging by their social media platforms, the pageant appears to be legitimate. But behind the scenes, the Namibian model says ladies undergo severe hardships, including starvation and having their rights taken away with unfulfilled promises. Because I always think that African women adapt an ABC. So for me, I just felt I needed to endure and just keep the, the eye on the price because they said the winner would get 65000 Namibian dollars in a car and I wanted that. I don't know if the winner will get that, but the winner of last year didn't get anything. During their stay, the ladies were reportedly taken to unpleasant ritual sites for performing strange acts, which they refused, and this angered the organizers. And they actually took us to evil places, spiritual places. It was called the Temple of Pythons, where they took their snakes, um, two um, pythons, and then they tried to put them around all the contestants' um, neck, apparently because they are the god of iron and we needed to be protected against accidents and some of us refused. I refused that also refused. Thereafter, they took us to a cemetery to talk to the dead, you know. This whole thing was spiritual for me. The two UNAM students, Ashipala and Sarah Shipwata, were able to escape the ordeal through the help of the High Commissioner of Namibia to Ghana, Charles Joseph, and the Ambassador of Namibia to Nigeria, Dr. Bengeonjabi Shipo. I'd just like to inform all the girls out there to be very smart and wise, you know, and to be, you know, educated. You know, just don't listen to what people are saying. You know, you have to do your research. And also, you know, if you are going outside the country, we have embassies almost in every country, so you need to go to the Ministry of International Relations and Corporations to find out who is the ambassador, and then you can perhaps even get his uh, mobile number just in case things don't, you know, uh, work out well or for the ambassador to be informed that you are getting there. For Ashipala, the experience has made her stronger and wiser. Selima Henok, NBC News, Vantuk.